Hello, sausage chefs. Welcome to another review. Today's review is by the twisted mind of games like Death Wish and the publishers of Joking Hazard is Sausage, a game about creating wieners, where you're going to be just constructing sausages from body parts and head parts, turning them into sausages. And your objective is to create orders. These orders can be something like the magnetic sausage or the crooked sausage to score you points, all while earning you cards like mystery meat cards that can give you additional victory points or some unique shenanigans to burn and chomp your opponent's sausages. Your objective is, of course, also to finish the award that is left on the table. There's one every game, and if you can succeed in that, as well as the orders and creating the best sausages, by the end of the game, if you have the most points, you will win and you'll become well, the wiener. Everybody else is going to become the loser and you have to play sausage again. Let's talk about how to set the game up, how to play, and then of course, what I think. Okay, so Sausage is a meaty game of fun that plays two to four players, and depending on the number of players playing the game will determine how many heads are in the head deck for the sausages. Uh, I'm gonna show you a two player game, so I'll remove actually six heads from the head deck. After we've done that, we're gonna set aside the five decks. There's the head deck, the body deck, the order deck, the mystery meat deck, and the award slash goal deck. Flip over the top head card and put it right next to the head deck. And the same will be for the body deck, except there will be two cards, order, two cards. Mystery meat is just shuffled and placed next to the order set. And then the awards, you're gonna flip over one of them after shuffling and discard these guys. You won't use them again for this game. So only one award per game. Then each player is going to get one of these player cards is like basically references and if you're playing with just two players you can just go ahead and set the front and back next to each other so they can see everything and the game is ready to begin. Whoever made or ate the last sausage starts, let's go ahead and discuss how to play. The game sausage is played in turns. On your turn you can do one action. And that action is you can take one card, whether it be head or body. You can take it from the face up areas of the head or body deck or you can take it directly from the top of the head or body deck. If you take one that is face up, you'll have to replace it, and then you'll have to place your card into your field or your tableau. I want a body, I'll take a body from the top of the deck, I'll place it in my field. That is the end of my turn. That is all you're going to do in the game. You're gonna take either a head or a body, and you're going to place it in your tableau. When it comes around to your next turn, now is when you have to start meeting the rules and requirements of how to play sausages. A, if you're placing a sausage down, it has to be adjacent to a previous sausage, up, down, left, or right. Additionally, it may not block a sausage, so I can't make a sausage become no longer a sausage, like a partial sausage, you would, as you would say. Um, I could, in fact, make two sausages by interlinking them as long as it doesn't block a previous sausage, or I can attach it to an already played sausage, to thusly making a longer sausage. And that's all the rules in regards to how these work. As long as you don't mess with a sausage that's already there or attach it to a previously one played, you're fine. Your objective is to make orders. In addition to scoring points with the sausage type of cards, like the heads and bodies and their specific types, which we'll talk about kind of in my, in my review, but you're trying to complete orders. And these orders could be anywhere like this magnetic sausage here, or snaky sausage, these guys can be mirrored and they can be flipped, it doesn't really matter. And on your turn, as soon as you place a sausage down, when you complete one of these guys, you can take them. You cannot take one if you have already played a sausage that looks like it. Uh, it has to be the turn in which you play it if the order is out. When you successfully make one of these guys, so let's just go ahead and say that I did make this magnetic sausage here. I can place this card down, I now take the magnetic sausage card, and then I'm going to replenish the order area so that a new sausage comes out for somebody else. My sausage is gonna give me uh, points based on the order value, and if it has a mystery meat symbol, you'll take a mystery meat card. This card can be played instantly or you can save it for later. Sometimes they're just gonna be victory points like this little baby sausage here, in which case you just put it next to your sausage tableau area. Um, and that's basically the idea of the game. You'll be playing these guys down, flipping over uh, new bodies and heads as people take them, completing orders and gaining mystery meets, and hopefully attempting to complete the award. Each award is different. This one here has to be the straightest sausage and with a minimum straightness of three, but there are a bunch of different other awards based on the game you're playing, whether it be the most pastry sausages or the most saucies or the most sausages in general. And so you're trying to complete the award, trying to gain the orders as you play new sausages out and completing sausages with a unique twist and the terms of what you can do with them. There's a 
bunch of different things the mystery meats can do and how the bodies interact with the heads and the types of sausages, which I'll cover in my review. But the idea of the game is simply take a sausage from the body or head area, play it down in your tableau, create sausages to form orders. And when the head deck runs out or the body deck runs out, that will trigger the end of the game, in which case you will score based on your tableau and any cards you might have that have scored you points like baby sausages and orders. If you have the most points, you are the head sausage chef and you are the wiener. So before we get into my review, let's talk about a few of the unique aspects to the game. Like for instance, this mystery meat deck. Well, not only do you gain mystery meat from orders, but also when you combine symbols of the uh, two different portions of a mystery meat uh, attached together on your tableau will give you one as well. They don't have to be from the same sausage, they can be from separate sausages. As long as you make that pinwheel, you're gonna score an extra one of these cards when you play out that body or head type. Uh, the mystery meats can involve a few things. Chomps, chomps are basically going to allow you to chomp portions of a sausage's head. It's a way to make the sausage impartial and score them less points when it comes to body parts. And then there's burns. Burns can be played on an opponent's sausage to give them less points as well. So a burned impartial sausage can score them very few points at the end of the game. Uh, and the last thing are the baby sausages. These guys here are one point when you get them. You just simply take them, put them in your tableau, they stay there and you score you an extra point at the end of the game. Okay, so let's discuss this little deck here. Uh, to note though, your body parts and heads have unique abilities and there's four of them. You're gonna have spicy, you're gonna have meaty, pastry, and saucy. And they all do different things either during the game or at the end of the game. Uh, the first thing is meaty. Meaty are the green tiles and if you have the most at the end of the game, you will score four points. If you have the second most, you'll score two. If you're playing a two player game, you will score zero. Pastries cannot be burned, nor can they be chomped. They're a way to protect your sausage from your opponent's attacks using mystery meats. Saucy, saucy are the orange tiles, and if you combine an orange tile with another orange tile, like let's say that you had a body that was orange and you took out a head and it was orange and played it next to it, or attached to it, I should say, you will get to take an extra turn. Simply meaning that you'll get to take an extra body part or head part and continue. And if you can do more than one in a single turn, you can make chains of events where you can play more sausages. And the final one is spicy. Spicy is interesting. Basically, when you make a sausage, let's say you have a five combo sausage, and that sausage has three spicy parts to it. The first spicy part does not count, but for every additional spicy part, that part will get an extra plus one point at the end of the game. And those are the main unique aspects to the game. The only other thing is the awards, and that is going to go out at the end of the game for whoever completed the award to the best of their ability. They'll score that high value, and everybody else will score negative two points. And so at the end of the game, you're going to be calculating a point for every sausage you have, minus points for every burns or incomplete sausage that you might have, as well as um, points you'll get for the different orders that you're able to complete, and maybe actual baby sausages. And then, of course, if you got something like the spicy bonus or the meaty bonus, at the end of the game, you'll score for that and whoever has the most is the winner. So what do I think now uh, completely? A sausage, sausage it is a tiny little box game. It is a tiny little game, uh, but it's got a lot to it. There's a lot of cards here um, and you get to make quite a few sausages, especially when you're playing two players. You're, uh, you're gonna obviously remove some heads to kind of make the game a little less long, but your objective is just to create this sausage tableau. So at the end of the game, you're gonna see a bunch of sausages on your tableau in different areas and different arrays where you're trying to complete these orders here. Your opponent can mess you up by playing mystery meats, can take the, the tiles that you might want to play and play them for themselves and create combos that will allow them to gain a huge advantage. You might be ahead at one point in time and then your opponent comes back in and then you can come back in as well. It really is just based on what is put up on this field and what you have on your tableau. I love it too because the game's really quick. You take, a, you take one of these, you have basically five options, a head, two bodies, or one from either of the top of these decks, and you play them down. If you don't like what you see, draw from the deck and hope and pray. You're never really gonna have an issue with being able to play a piece on your board. There's never gonna be a time where you're gonna miss an opportunity, so you're not gonna lose turns in this game. It's a party game where you don't lose turns. I'm already already in it, <laughs> like I'm already interested in it. And so this one is basically just a huge tableau builder of different little sausages trying to complete basic aspects to the game, whether it be the body part types, the orders, or your objective. And if you can do all three at once, you're pretty much guaranteed to win because it's very difficult to be able to complete everything. All while attempting to complete the little sausage or the mystery meat portions together, uh, thusly scoring you extra uh, portions of these guys here, which can reduce the first player uh, below you, hopefully. 
it's a light, fun game. The artwork is silly. It's cute. It's, 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 you know, I would say there's anything like a sexual kind of thing you would think about a game like Sausage. This is like Be the Wiener. It's really just about fun little sausages and creating them and like morphing them. I mean, I guess you can get dirty with it in your mind if you want, but the game is very light. It's very family friendly. And it's it's definitely a game where pretty much anybody can play. I think even under 10 could, could understand how this game works. Drawing one of the pieces and creating a snake, creating a little, a little weird sausage that does its own thing. And the game has a nice quick feel about it. The game ends pretty, uh, pretty easily you know when the game is coming to an end too so you can start making your last will and testament by that point in time and all the different orders and varieties uh might mess you up originally and you might be making other sausages later but those can be paid off for later at the end of the game when you start seeing other sausages that might benefit you so yeah it's it's a light game it has a little bit of take that it's a lot of tableau management it's a small box game that you can play pretty much anywhere and it plays with pretty much anyone it's a game for all audiences and i think this this game, uh, when played and, and if marketed enough, is going to do very, very, very well because it is fun. It's got that kind of exploding kittens type of a feel to it. It's obviously done to make it for like enjoyable for pretty much everybody. And there's enough complexity and like strategy in the game that can guarantee you wins as long as you have that more of that even though there is luck involved. So for that sake alone, this is gonna be a really fun little game. I'm definitely gonna keep this in my collection. There's no reason why I wouldn't. It's gonna go into my small box games categories and it's gonna be a travel game that I'll take out and play when I'm on the road with somebody or if I'm in like a hotel or whatever. And I'm definitely gonna be showing them a little bit more sausage and maybe a little bit more of my mystery meat. There, I did a sexual reference. Anyway, yeah, check out Sausage. Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Sausage by Joking Hazard, which sadly I have not played yet, Joking Hazard. I've heard it's really good though, and uh, I believe after playing this little game here. Uh, I also would like you, if you could, if it would behoove you in your heart to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button and the bell notification button if you like this video and want to see more videos that we create in the future. And of course, there's a link down below in the description where we'll have sausage available for you to take a look at. And that's pretty much it. Well, unfilteredgamer.com, blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, and more. And of course, our Instagram. We have a live stream every Sunday at 6.30 p.m. PST. And on Whatnot, we do on Wednesdays at 6.30 as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I look forward to crafting some sausages with you next time.